Morning, well, a nice home-baked treat to start off the week. This is a super tasty one, plum shortcake. I know I say this a lot, but I really do genuinely love this recipe. Right, let's get started with this. A 20 centimeter pan, spring form um, is easier to take it out at the end. I've given it a really good spray with the spray oil, and we're just gonna line the bottom with some paper. I don't bother lining the sides as long as you sprayed the sides quite well. So it's the tinned plums you get. Drain them like this. We'll see if I can do it without making too much of a mess. You can keep the syrup. I don't like to waste things. If you keep the syrup to one side, you can put it into a saucepan just with a little bit of corn flour and thicken it up over some heat to keep, give it a good stir as you do that. And then you've got a nice sauce. And then we're gonna spread them out on a plate. Just gonna cut the plums in half. And we just wanna pick out this stone from each half. Right, so the stones are all out. Just going to give them a bit of a pat down with kitchen paper. Okay, kitchen A time. Got my artisan stand mixer here. Going to add into the bowl 220 grams of butter. I've just got my beater attachment. I think this is, I think say probably the one I use the most. In saying that, I also use the dough hook quite a lot when I'm making um, breads and pizza bases. And 130 grams of white sugar. In it goes and we just get those creamy together. Looks nice too, I'm quite attached to my KitchenAid. When I'm not using it, it's just in the corner of my kitchen there. Nice to have something that also looks pretty on the bench top. So that's creamed together nicely. Just gonna add into that an egg and a teaspoon of good old vanilla essence. That's creamed together pretty nicely. I'm going to add in some flour. I've got 300 grams of plain flour and two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Here, I've got my tin of plums, which I drained pretty well. I'm gonna give them an extra drain. We're going to use about two thirds of our mix to push into the base. I'm gonna push it in. You could use the back of your hands or a spoon. And we're gonna push it round and then slightly up the sides as well just push down on the bottom and I've just brought it up slightly on the sides. Next we're going to take our pretty well drained plums and we're going to spread them out along the base. So the plums are just spread out pretty nicely across the base and then our final bit of shortbread dough we've got here we're just going to crumble onto the top. So that's all crumbled over the top and then to finish, a quarter cup of either sliced or slivered almonds. And I'm just gonna scatter them over the top. Well, here is my finished plum shortcake. Just cut a slice here. Look at this. You've got the layer of shortbread on the bottom, some juicy black Doris plums in the middle, and then some shortcake as well on the top and the sprinkled almonds as well. Really delicious. If you like, you could sprinkle a little icing sugar on top. I don't feel it needs it. This is really tasty.